Hello there designers! So today we're going to learn how to draw the chassis for our F1 in school's primary STEM project racer. So we're going to start off just using the measurements on the screen and drawing the back part of our chassis using the ISOSketch 3D drawing tool. And you can see here that we're using small measurements, 40 millimeters, which is 4 centimeters, 20 millimeters, which is 2 centimeters, and 10 millimeters, which you get no prizes for guessing is 1 centimeter. So here you can see we're just starting to draw a 3D shape with the drawing tool using those measurements on the screen. And this, this part of the chassis looks a little bit like an eraser, so think about what you rub out pencil with if you make a mistake. Hopefully we're not going to make a mistake though today, are we? So we're just going to join this line up and you can see on the screen it's 10 millimeters down, 40 millimeters across. What we're going to now do is mark 5 millimeters in from each side on this bottom line here. So just using the ruler edge, marking 5 millimeters in on both these lines, so the top and the bottom of this end of our chassis block at the moment. Now this is, this is actually the rear of the chassis, so we're now going to draw the front part of the chassis by extending a line 40 millimeters or 4 centimeters straight forward from these points. And you see how we're using the ISOSketch tool just to make sure that the line is exactly in keeping with the shape. So making sure that the green edge of our ISOSketch tool sits along the edge on our drawing already. And you can see here how those lines look perfectly parallel. And that's the key word here is that they're parallel with the rest of the drawing. So all we're doing now is just finishing this end off and it's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters just to finish off the nose cone of our car. How easy was that? Right, we're just gonna finish off this little line here so that we've got all the lines that we need in place for the chassis. And we're gonna move on to now marking out where our axles will go. So the first thing to do is just line the ruler up so that zero is right at the start of the shape and just measure in to where 15 millimeters comes and make a little dot. So 15 millimeters in and then we're going to use the ruler again, lining up the tool so it's parallel with our drawing and marking a line 10 millimeters across and now 10 millimeters up. So we're marking, think about this being like cutting the shape across like a slice of cake or a slice of butter or something like that and we're marking across it. Now we're going to do the same at the back but marking 30 millimeters up from one end. Making a mark and then drawing a line that's 10 millimeters or one centimeter up. Again move this move the tool so it's parallel with the shape and then mark across 20 millimeters. It's important to count these measurements on the ruler as well. Don't just guess them. And then finish this off by going 10 millimeters up and you can see again we've drawn like a slice through our chassis okay find the middle of this line here so that's going to be a five millimeter dot and find the middle of the second line repeat this at the back and this is where our axle holes are going to go through our chassis so we're just finding the middle of all those four lines now time to draw our axles on so position the ruler so that you've got one of the centimeter or the bigger markings next to your dots and we're going to mark 10 millimeters out from each side of the chassis. So using the ruler marking 10 millimeters out and that will look a little bit like that. Now on the back it's going to be a bit different. Our axles are the same length but because the body is wider our axles only need to stick out 5 millimeters on each side so we're just going to carefully mark on 5 millimeters. See here it barely even shows over the top of the chassis. Now all that's left to do is mark on where our wheel's going to go. So just gently with the pencil, I'm going to mark on a vertical line. Vertical means it goes from top to bottom on the page. So I'm going to go a vertical line, just being careful to make sure that that line is straight up and down. Now I'm going to mark across in line with the drawing. So again, parallel with the rest of the drawing, marking a line across where we've just drawn. So if you think about it now, We've basically drawn a vertical and a horizontal line against each of our axles. Now, we're going to line up our, our wheel tool here, and this is a circle on the ISOSketch tool, so that the crosshairs match those lines we've just drawn, our soft lines. And it's a very simple process, so you can see again, we've got little crosshairs around the circle tool. We're using the middle tool, the middle of the circle tools on the ISOSketch here, just to mark a cross, and then finish our wheel off. Same at the back. And just make sure that you only draw the bit of the wheel you can see, not the bit that's hiding behind the chassis. And there we have it. Next step, we're going to turn it into a racer. 